Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. So far we have seen in the discussion of lambda how to define a lambda and then we have also seen how to invoke a lambda. So having got our basics right about lambda, let's proceed further. So if you look at it, how does our function definition typically look like you have a fun keyword then the function name and then the return type and of course a function can have a argument and typically the arguments are different types of primitive data types like it could be a int or a series of int arguments or a int or a string or a string or a int or even a user defined object a class object that could also be the argument but if you have observed all our lambdas have also been defined as simple variables and when we started the discussion about the lambdas and functions we said that they are first citizens in Kotlin so basically you can treat the functions and lambdas as variables so if these are variables can't I pass a lambda also as an argument to a function well that is what the premise of higher order functions and we will get started into that discussion with something very simple that is basically passing lambdas as function arguments to get started let us consider one lambda that we have already written that is lambda age description now how can i pass this lambda as an argument to a function when you pass a primary data type as an argument to a function you have to tell what type of data type you are passing whether it is a int float what is it about lambda that makes similar sense well it's the type of the lambda so in this case the type of this lambda is it takes an argument and returns a string and if you can mention that this particular function takes this kind of a lambda type that's more than sufficient for Kotlin to understand that this function is basically receiving a lambda as an argument so let's try to do that through a simple demo so it's the same code that we have been writing but what we will do is now we will write a function that basically takes a lambda as an argument this is the lambda that we have already defined so what we will do is let's write a very generic function that takes a list of nations which is nothing but a pair of key value pair of string and string type and then pass a lambda which is of this type so that it can print it function print key value pairs and key value pairs list and this is list of pair containing string and string and the second argument is basically a lambda so what i can do is lambda and then what is the type of the lambda the type of the lambda is this so i can just simply copy paste this and then i don't want to return anything from this function and that's it i basically have now defined a function which is print key value pair which takes a list of key value pairs and also takes a lambda as an argument and what kind of lambda it takes as an argument this is the kind of lambda we will write now what it is supposed to do so what i will do is cut this and put it here but we will have to rename the values so here key value pair list and then for each you have to pass the lambda and that will basically print the values now let me do that print key value pairs list of nations is the first argument second argument is the lambda in this case it is print nation capitals and that's it and if i run this prints exactly what it used to print earlier now having done this let's build on top of this right now what we are doing is we have defined this lambda and we are passing that lambda as an argument well some of you may say that why unnecessarily define this particular lambda why can't i just pass this thing as an argument well that's what we will try to do we will simply take this and pass this and this is 
no more necessary and if i run this it still works perfectly fine so basically what i did is i did not waste another variable here i just created a lambda directly in the place of the argument where i was supposed to pass a lambda so it just makes it even more simple however it doesn't look proper because it looks like a function inside a argument list and it's not very readable and that is where kotlin tries to make it even more elegant to read the whole code and actually in the ide it is already suggesting what you can do what it says is move the lambda argument out of parenthesis so if i just do this just observe what happens so list of nations came as an first argument the second argument which was supposed to be inside the parenthesis it moved it outside so in terms of readability it improves even to a greater extent so now i can read that print key value pairs takes an argument of list of nations and does this this syntax is basically called as trailing lambda syntax and this is used quite often in kotlin it is probably one of the most commonly used syntax in kotlin let me show you an another example let me create a val list of numbers list of int and comma two two comma three so now we have list of numbers and what we will do is val even numbers is equal to list of numbers dot filter and then pass a lambda and what is the type of the lambda you have to basically pass a lambda that takes int and returns a boolean so it percentage two is equal to zero that's the lambda so basically i am getting a even numbers and now if i do this print the numbers filtered even numbers print it it basically printed me the even numbers what i also could have done is i could have put it in the parenthesis it still would have worked but kotlin just recommends the trailing lambda syntax to be used more preferably and even i feel that this looks much better so that's it in this particular video let's meet in the another video with next topic on lambda that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye